Hello dear students, our today's topic is H1 antagonist and in this lecture we will go through the individual drugs belonging to the chemical class of piperazine, the phenothiazines, and the other tricyclics and the second generation H1 antagonist. So let's start with the piperazine class. The first drug included in syllabus is chlorcyclizine hydrochloride. Now, if we look at the structure of chlorcyclizine, we find here the presence of this heterocyclic ring, which is called as piperazine. This nitrogen is given number one, this two, three, and four. Now, its IUPAC name is this one. The basic nucleus is piperazine. On position number four, we have a methyl. On position number one, we have a four chlorophenyl. Phenyl. Both the phenyls are attached on methyl. So you can easily relate the IUPAC name with the structure of this compound. Now, if we look at the structure, we find that this structure is related with both the ethanol amine class of compounds and ethylene diamines because in piperazine, both these nitrogens are separated by a two carbon chain which was also the classical feature of ethylene diamines. The chlorocyclogen is used for treatment of motion sickness. This is because it has the central anti-emetic effect. Central means this drug have its action in the central lava system. The next drugs are the meclizine hydrochloride and buclizine hydrochloride. Both these compounds also belong to the chemical class of piperazine. Now these are their structure. You can find that this particular structure is common. And if we look at the name, we find that the CL stands for presence of this chlorine. In buclizine also, this CL stands for chlorine. In case of meclizine, this ME stands for this methylphenyl nucleus. In case of buclizine, this BU stands for the presence of this tertiary butyl group along with this phenyl ring. Both these compounds contain the chiral carbon. Now, if we look at this carbon, we find that this carbon is attached with four different groups. One, two, this one is third, and the fourth one is hydrogen. Here also, this carbon attached with four different groups. That's why, if we look at the structure, we find the inclusion of this prefix RS. This RS stands for the use of resemic mixture. That means whatever meclizine and buclizine is used, they are used in their resemate form. Both of these drugs are used as anti-emetic for treatment of motion sickness. The next drugs belonging to the category of the tricyclics. Here first we will go for the phenothiazine derivatives like promethazine hydrochloride and trimeprazine tartarate. Both the compounds possess this heterocyclic ring. The ring consists of three rings where two benzene rings are attached with the central six-membered thiazine ring. That's why the basic heterocycle is called as phenothiazine. Now, in both the compounds, 
the nitrogen which is part of heterocycle is considered as non basic nitrogen we know that the aromatic nitrogens are non basic in nature in this case this nitrogen is non basic because this nitrogen has shared its pair of electron to produce the aromatic character in the phenothiazine ring here also this nitrogen shared its pair of electron that's why this nitrogens are considered as non basic nitrogen while this nitrogen and this nitrogen are considered as basic nitrogen that means the basicity of promethazine and trimeprazine is solely from this nitrogen that's why promethazine reacted with hydrochloric acid to form promethazine hydrochloride salt likewise trimeprazine which is a base react with tartaric acid to form trimeprazine tartarate these are the iubc name of this compound now one very important point is that this phenothiazine derivatives that means this phenothiazines which are used as antihistaminics and the phenothiazines which are used as antipsychotics have a basic structural difference here you can find that the carbon chain between these two nitrogens is a branch chain not a continuous one here also this carbon chain is a branch chain because here the branching is going on so when branching is there between the two nitrogens the phenothiazines have the antihistaminic effect while if it is unbranched then such phenothiazine derivatives have the antipsychotic effect both of these drugs are used in treatment of nausea and vomiting which are associated with anesthesia and motion sickness now next we move on to the next compound which belongs to the tricyclic class of antihistamines here we will go for the ciproheptadine hydrochloride and azatadine maleate both have some common structural feature with a very slight difference here we find that in both the cases the heterocycle present is a methyl piperidine here it is a methyl and piperidine here is a methyl and a piperidine in both the cases two six member rings are attached with the central seven membered ring here in case of ciproheptadine the central ring is cycloheptene if we look at this name ciproheptadine this cy stands for the cyclo and this hept stands for heptene so the here the central ring is cycloheptene while in case of azatadine this central ring is cycloheptene because there is no double bond in the central heptane ring so dear student this is a very basic difference between ciproheptadine and azatadine i repeat once again in case of ciproheptadine the central ring is cycloheptene while in case of azatadine the central ring is cycloheptane that means it is an alkane and here it is an alkene now one more very big difference is that one of the benzene ring is substituted with a six membered pyridine ring here this azatadine in this case this aj stands for aja and aja stands for the nitrogen so one of the carbon is replaced by the nitrogen and thus it gives formation of azatadine now these are the 
IUPAC names of this compound which does not require any further clarification. These compounds are used for treatment of hay fever. Due to some serious side effects associated with azatidine, it is withdrawn from the market. Next we move on to the second generation antihistaminic drugs which are considered as non-sedating. Non-sedating means they does not produce sedation and drowsiness. The first compound is cetrigine and its isomer levocetrizine. This is the structure of cetrigine and it is chemically related with the piperazine class. This feature the chlorophenyl, phenyl, methyl and piperazine with a methyl is common but this portion CH2O, CH2COOH, the acetic acid derivative portion is a extra portion over here. Now though this drug consists of a chiral carbon, it also available in its isomeric forms. The cetrigine which is employed is a racemic mixture that means it consists of both the dextro and the levo form. For the IUPC nomenclature we will select this acid portion with the long carbon chain containing two carbons. We considered it as the derivative of acetic acid. So this is carbon number one and this will be carbon number two. Here also we have a two carbon chain so this will be one and this will be two. On second we have a piperazine so it will be one and then this will be four. For this phenyl ring this will be number one and this will be number four. So likewise the name of the cetrazine is two sorry on two then on two then on four then on 4 chlorophenyl, phenyl methyl, piprazine 1 il. Now, this portion CH2CH2O is considered as ethoxy. So, ethoxy, and then the name of the basic nucleus acetic acid. As I mentioned, that this compound is a racemic compound. Now one very important point is that cetrazine is acid metabolite of hydroxygene. In case of hydroxyzine, here we have a CH2OH group. So this point or this kind of question may be asked in GPAT examination that cetrazine is the acid metabolite of dash drug. So four options will be given there then you have to answer that it is the hydroxy gene whose primary metabolite is cetrazine. The next compound is levocetrazine. It is nothing but the levo isomer that is the negative isomer of cetrazine. When cetrazine undergoes racemic modification it is they resolved into the dextro and the levo isomer. So the levo isomer of cetrazine is called as levo cetrazine. This compound is found to be less sedating than cetrazine and it is also found that only 2.5 mg of levo cetrazine may produce the action equivalent to 5 mg of cetrazine. Now this drug levocetrazine is used for treatment of allergic rhinitis. The next drugs are loratidine and estemisole. Loratidine is structurally related with ciproheptadine and azatadine. It is more closely related with azatadine. Now the one very big difference is that instead of tertiary amino group here this amino group is gets converted into the ethyl 
ester of carbamate this portion nco is called as carbamate and it is from the ethyl ester due to the carbamate loratadine is found to be neutral in nature due to presence of this ethyl carbamate portion loratadine is neutral that is neither basic nor acidic due to which this compound does not cross the blood brain barrier and thus it does not have the central nervous system effect that means it does not have the sedation property or the drowsiness property the next compound is astemizole which is chemically the derivative of this heterocycle which is called as benzene imidazole more especially it is two amino benzene imidazole derivative here this s stands for this any sole like structure any sole is the structure where the methoxy group is attached on the phenyl ring and this zole stands for presence of the two amino benzene imidazole this drug is used for treatment of edema and pruritus but though it is observed that some arrhythmic actions are produced by the action of estima estimizole this compound is now withdrawn from the market so dear students that was all about the individual drugs belonging to the class of piperazines the tricyclic compounds and the second generation h1 antagonist thanks for watching the video please like share and subscribe Thank